Well, it is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Monday, August the 15th, 2016, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. The Bailey County Senior Citizens will hold a health fair on Tuesday, August the 16th, from 10.30 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon at the Senior Center, 319 Main Street. That's the corner of Main and Avenue D. They will have uh, booths that will consist of medical management, BP, home safety, bone density screening, diabetes, cholesterol, hearing, and vision screenings will also be offered. That's Tuesday, August 16th, 10.30 until 1, the health fair at the Bailey County Senior Center, 319 Main Street. Also going on at the Senior Center every Thursday, they have bingo at 1.30. Come and enjoy time at the Senior. Also, the first and third Tuesdays of every month, they play bunko at 10 a.m. All are welcome. This week at the Senior Center at noon, they will be serving uh, for lunch, beef tips with rice, meadow blend, vegetables, corn, Wheat roll chocolate cake with strawberries. That's today on Monday, August 15th. Tuesday, meatloaf, tomato sauce, mashed potatoes, winter blend vegetables, apple fluff, and wheat roll. Wednesday, taco pie, salad topping, pinto beans, chuck wagon corn, peanut butter cup, corn tortilla. Then on Thursday, rigatoni with meat sauce, garlic bread, seasoned lima beans, tossed salad with dressing, mandarin oranges with whipped topping. Friday, fish or chicken strips, borracho beans, green peas, tossed vegetable salad, locale French dressing, a whole wheat roll, and tropical fruit mix. That's on the menu all this week at noon at the Senior Center. Congratulations to Eric and Mallory McElroy as uh, born Friday at 12.55 p.m. was Don Vanetta McElroy at the University Medical Center in Lubbock, weighing in at 7 pounds and 10 ounces and 20 inches long. Local grandparents are Don and Ann McElroy. Don has three siblings, Ryder, River, and Harper. And again, born Friday was Dawn Vanetta McElroy. She was born 7 pounds, 10 ounces, and 20 inches long to Eric and Mallory McElroy. Of course, Eric runs irrigation pumps and power here in Muleshoe. And his, uh, Dawn's grandparents are Dawn and Ann McElroy. Case and Michael Parks was born Thursday last week at UMC in Lubbock to Jesse and Nicole Parks. Uh, Kaysen weighed 7.9 pounds and was 21 inches long. Local grandparents are Joe and Cassie Crandall and great grandmother is Barbara Scott here in Milshu. Jesse works as the code enforcement officer for the city of Milshu. Congratulations to Jesse and Nicole Parks on their fourth child, Kaysen Michael Parks, born Thursday at UMC in Lubbock. Meet the Mules is this Tuesday evening, August 16th at 7 p.m. at the Muleshoe High School Gymnasium. Sponsored by the Muleshoe Athletic Booster Club. Come out and meet all of the fall uh, sports teams, including the Muleshoe Mules. They'll be serving homemade ice cream, cookies, and brownies. That's Meet the Mules will be held Tuesday, August 16th at the MHS Gym at 7 p.m. Everyone is invited. Sponsored by the Muleshoe Athletic Booster Club. Come out for homemade ice cream, cookies, and brownies. The Mules' first scrimmage versus Bushland was last week on Friday. They will continue with the second scrimmage this week on Thursday, August 18th, here in Muleshoe against Seminole at 6.30 at Benny Douglas Stadium. Mom is down in Wimberley spending time with her granddaughters, Joy and Isla, before they go back to school. But, but she'll be back with us on the Mule Train News next week. So look for her then. I'll go down and pick her up later this week. So uh, please understand that as mom is getting away for a few days down in Wimberley and enjoying her granddaughters, uh, Julia and Isla. Of course, next week on Monday, the first day of school, will um, be here in Muleshoe. And if you know a child who will go to school for the very first time in their lives, we want to interview them for our first day of school interviews. You can call us at, here at Channel 6, 806 566 
5881 all afternoon after school lets out and into the evening we'll be interviewing children on their first day of school again call 806-566-5881 if you have a child going to school for the very first time in their lives we will be back with more mule train news in just a few moments so please stay tuned Yum chips. I like Peleow chips. Foxy likes them too. Right, Foxy? <laughs> These Peleow's chips are the best. I like the seasoning salt and the salsa on my chips. And that's at Leal's, the original Leal's in Mule Shoe at 1010 West American Boulevard. Right, Isla? Yes. This edition of the Mule Train News is being brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant, along with the First Bank. And as we get back to school here, uh, the First Bank has your School Spirit MasterCard debit cards available for the Mule Shoe Mules. Demon Bobcats are Bovina Mustangs today at 202 South First Street, 806-272-4515. The First Bank here in Mule Shoe. Again, Mule Shoe Mules School Spirit MasterCard debit cards available now. Show your team spirit and earn cash for your school. School. Every time you swap your card, available at the First Bank in Mule Shoe, 202 South First Street, 806-272-4515. The First Bank is member FDIC. The 77th Annual Meeting of Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association will be held Tuesday, August the 23rd at the Bailey County Coliseum. From 5.30 until 8, there will be a free meal served to all the cooperative members and invited guests beginning at 5.30. Registration will be between 5.30 and 6.15, and a business meeting will start at 6.30. That's the 77th Annual Meeting of the Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association will be Tuesday, August August the 23rd at the Bailey County Coliseum from 5.30 until 8 p.m. We had technical problems uh, yesterday on Sunday with the First Baptist Church and their worship service, but we got that fixed and we'll get uh, their Sunday worship service on the cable system rotating Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as the sermon by Dr. Stacey Connor up on our website, MuleshoeTV.com, later on today on Monday. Sorry about that problem. The new uh, Bailey County Food Pantry is going to require an ID that you will need to get this Saturday, August the 20th from 9 until 12 at the Bailey County Coliseum uh, Saturday morning. Pick up food at the pa- food pantry on your regular Saturday in August. Everyone will uh, must go to the Coliseum this Saturday, August the 20th to receive a new pitcher ID. It's required to pick up food uh, beginning in September at the food pantry. They will issue your ID Saturday morning, August 20, 20th there at the Bailey County Coliseum. That's 9 a.m. until 12 noon this Saturday. So if you receive food from the Bailey County Food Pantry, they ask that you show up Saturday morning, August 20th, 9 until 12 that morning at the Bailey County Coliseum. If you have any questions, you can please contact Chris Martis at 806-272-5426 or April Smith 272-3552. It is time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications. First, a message from our sponsor. Secure your life with fast technologies available through Five Area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area. Plans starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection. Door and window sensors. Receive alerts through text, email, or phone. Plans again starting at $20 per month. Call today. 5 Area, 806-272-5533 or go by their website at 5area.com. They will also be happy to give you an on-site demo, so stop by their offices today, 302 Uvalde Street on the west edge of Muleshoe, a DSL internet connection 
is required. That's home, farm, and business security and automation services available through Fast Technologies at 5 Area. Call 806-272-5533 for more information. Well, we hate to report that, of course, we didn't get any rain the end of last week. As we were supposed to get around an inch and a half, they thought, with the cold front that moved through our area on Friday. We did get the much cooler temperatures, though, as the high on Saturday here in Muleshoe was 87 degrees. The low was 63. And then on Sunday, even cooler. The high was only 81 yesterday on Sunday. Low was 56. Looking at our weather forecast, it is the same thing throughout the rest of the week until the end of the week where we might have some uh, rain chances in our forecast. Sunny with a high near 87 for Monday today on uh, here in Muleshoe. West southwest wind between 5 and 10 miles per hour becoming south southeast this afternoon. Clear with a low around 58 degrees tonight. Southeast winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Tuesday sunny high near 88 degrees south Southwest wind between 5 and 10 miles per hour becoming southeast this afternoon. Mostly clear Tuesday night, low around 58. Sunny, high again right around the same place, 88 degrees for Wednesday. Southwest winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour becoming east-southeast later the, in the afternoon hours. Wednesday night, mostly clear, low around 62. Thursday, sunny, high near 88 degrees. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, partly cloudy Thursday night. Low around 63. Then Friday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms possible. Mostly sunny, high near 89 degrees. South southwest wind between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Friday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy, low around 61. Saturday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Partly sunny, high near 83 degrees. Saturday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Partly cloudy, low around 61. So some rain chances later in the week. Friday and into the weekend on Saturday and Sunday for the Muleshoe area. Sunny again for today on Monday. High near 87 degrees. West-southwest wind between 5 and 10 miles per hour becoming south-southeast this afternoon. Clear tonight. Low around 58. Sunny on Tuesday. High near 88 degrees. Southwest winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour becoming southeast Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday night. Mostly clear. Low around 58. Five area telephone. West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. The Muleshoe Water Park closed for the season this weekend on Sunday. And uh, the city of Muleshoe also wants to remind you that they will have their movie in the park. The last one for the summer will be Thursday, August the 18th. They will be showing Angels in the Outfield. That's the movie in the park. The last one for the summer will be Thursday, August 18th. Uh, and they'll be showing angels in the outfield. MISD Superintendent Dr. R.L. Richards announces to us that the backpack blessing will be this Saturday, August the 20th, 10 a.m. until noon at the East City Park. They'll be giving away free backpacks, school supplies, food, and fun. So right before school starts, you can get some free um, school supplies along with backpacks. Also join them for food and fun at the Backpack Blessing Saturday, August 20th, 10 a.m. until 12 noon at the East City Park. Also this Friday, uh, there will be a back-to-school event, a back-to-school health fair at the Muleshoe Area Public Library for this uh, school year. Friday, August 19th, 9 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. They will have... Um, the available early childhood intervention. k and K Pharmacy will be there. Muleshoe Police Department, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Baylor County Extension Office, Regents Health Net Network, Maximus Foundation, CASA, Legal Aid of Northwest Texas, and the South Plains Community Action. That's Friday, August 19, 9 a.m. to 11.30 at the Muleshoe Area Public Library. They'll have their back-to-school health fair 322 West 2nd Street here in Muleshoe. Story time will be the second Monday of every month beginning this fall. The first one will be September the 12th, and then the next one will be October the 10th. That's join them at the uh, Muleshoe Public Library for story time the second Monday of the month at 10 a.m. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. 
Two weeks to go home following a hospital stay. Recover close to home with the Swing Bed program available now at the Muleshoe Area Medical Center. The Swing Bed program is for Medicare patients discharged from Muleshoe or any other area hospital following an acute illness, injury, or surgery but still need time and physical therapy to heal and strengthen before going home. Call today for more information about the Swing Bed program at the Muleshoe Area Medical Center, 806 806- 272-4524. The Mule Sherry Medical Center is located at 708 South 1st Street right here in Mule Shoe. Again, call for more information about the Swing Bed Program, 806-272-4524. Cooler temps are in the forecast and rain at the end of the week in Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street, in Muleshoe and Farwell Hardware, 305 Avenue A. Have you covered with ponchos and two- and three-piece rain suits? The climate gears come in yellow, black, and camo colors. See their great selection of rain boots as well by DuraWare and Lacrosse. Temperature gauges, rain gauges, and clocks in now at Frying Cox and Farwell Hardware, featuring the wireless solar-powered humidity and temperature station an outdoor sensor. As area ranchers prepare to put livestock out to graze, Frying Cox and Farwell Hardware has your electric fencing needs, including Gallagher energizers and switches, porcelain insulators, galvanized wire, gate handles, and more. Don't forget they have galvanized steel and polymer livestock watering tanks in stock at Frying Cox as well. Get a great deal on the five-gallon LubriGuard tractor, hydraulic, and transmission oil, only $31.99 while supplies last, and get the Scott Shop towel 200 count box for $14 or two rolls for $5 now at Frying Cox. Canning season is underway. Find great deals on a canner with jar rack, canning food press, pressure cookers, ball cans, lids and rings, food mill, vacuum sealing system and more available at Frying Cox 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe and Farwell Hardware 305 Avenue A in Farwell, Texas. The South Plains Community Action Association Head Start program is enrolling now children that are four years old as of September the 1st, 2016. Go by the Head Start program uh, headquarters at 510 West 18th Street here in Muleshoe, or you can call 806-281-7456 Arlen Pruitt for more information. As part of the registration process, you need to bring the child's birth certificate, proof of health insurance or Medicaid card, current immunization record, and proof of income. That's the Head Start program sponsored by the South Plains Community Action Association is enrolling children that are four years old as of September the 1st, 2016. Go by 510 West 18th Street here in Muleshoe or call Arlen Pruitt for more information, 806-281-7456. You need to bring your child along with their birth certificate, proof of health insurance or Medicaid card, current immunization record, and proof of income. Uh, The Head Start offers a wide range of services to children and families, including health, education, nutrition, disabilities, mental health, parent involvement, and family services, and all to increase school readiness. The Muleshoe High School class of 1966 will have their 50th reunion on homecoming here in Muleshoe on October the 7th. They are looking for ad- addresses of their class members from the class of 1966. You can text or call Diane Brown at 806 946 86 Eight. That's the MHS class of 1966. We'll have their 50th reunion on homecoming here in Muleshoe on October the 7th. They need ad- uh, addresses of their former classmates. Call Diane Brown, 806-946-8628, or you can text her as well on that cell phone. On your prayer list today, remember Pat Nichols, Marjorie Precure, Anita Mitchell, Jenny McVicker, Ollie Mae Clausen, also Jean Allison, Reese Brown, Ivan Noble's 16-year-old nephew, is suffering with cancer. Remember Robert and Pansy J, Benji J's parents. <clears throat> Kay Morris, Whitney uh, Nixon's brother. Clara Rimpey needs to remain on your prayer list today. Also, Jerry Savuto, Glenda Shepler, Gina Martis' sister. Uh, remember Larry Thornton, uh, Dylan Noble, Debbie Ridlon. Tori Alvarado needs to remain on your prayer list today. Donald Griswold, Royce and Sandy Turner, remember them. Also, Terry Obenhaus, Charles Merritt, Barbara Blackman, Peggy Bruton, Laura Killingsworth, Jeff Carpenter, Bill Vinson, Donna Green. Also remember the family of Marshall Poole 
His funeral services were held last week here in Milshu at the First United Methodist Church. Remember the family of Nicho Triana, the brother of Jose uh, of Milshu. Remember the family of Joseph Bustillos. The family of Margaret Adams needs to remain on your prayer list today, as well as the family of Ruth Guzman. As school uh, gets ready to swing back into action here in Mulshi, we hope that you've enjoyed our interview, introducing you to all the new staff members uh, at Mulshi ISD. They are Angela Reyes, Dillman Kindergarten Teacher, Maricela Casanova, TA at DeShazo, Brianna uh, Brianne Sines, TA at Dillman, Sonia Bustillos, the librarian at DeShazo Elementary, Suzanne King, MHS Counselor, Kenton Randolph, IT at high school, Amanda Mueller, Dillman Pre-K, Alyssa Lopez, MHS art teacher, Trevor Owens, MHS history, Steve Bar- uh, Butler, MHS science, Christy Butler, DeShazo, third grade math and science teacher, Tiffany Chanel, high school family and consumer science, Pam Doolittle, MHS chemistry and A&P, Lydia Campos, second grade at Dillman, Veronica Arellano, eighth grade science at Watson Junior High, R.C. Mills, eighth grade history at Watson Junior High, Zachary Toscano, junior high athletics and creative thinking, Lindsey Jennings, English 4, Tammy Watts, uh, Watson Junior High, six through eight resource, Susan White, Fine Arts at DeShazo Elementary, Jay Parker, English 2 at the high school cross country and helping with girls uh, basketball, Tammy Parker, third grade math and science at DeShazo, and Wendy Hollis, first grade at Dillman, along with Stephanie Brown, first grade at Dillman as well. That's available on demand anytime you want to watch it on the front page of our website, muleshoetv.com. We also have it in our rotation here on Reach Broadband Channel 6. And don't forget, we are looking for children to interview for our first day of school uh, video that we make every year. We'll do it on Monday next week, August 22nd, after school gets out, and do it all uh, afternoon and evening. Uh, children that are have gone to school for the very first time in their lives, again, call to make your schedule, uh, uh, schedule your appointment for your child, 806-566-5881. You can call me on my cell phone. Well, it's about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank. Along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant, you can hear our latest Mule Train news program rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well. Find them free of charge on demand anytime you want to listen to our Mule Train programs on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the Mule Train news link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. Eddie knows how to tie a wild hog. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. They're owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504 or go, uh, go by their website www.bcecoop.com. The board of directors and members, employees, manager, CEO, David Markle, hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Eddie Trapp lives in the Delta County community of Charleston. I retired from teaching school when I got in 30 years, so I retired at age 50. He hunts wild hogs. I imagine we've caught and killed four or five hundred hogs. Eddie sells the hogs he catches. He is an expert at hog tying. You have two kinds of dogs. You have the bay dogs or the strike dogs that go out and find the hogs and bark at them. You want them to stay back. And then you have a bulldog that you're leading and you get close and you turn him loose. And he's just like a heat-seeking missile. He goes right straight for it, locks down on an ear, and we go in and tie it. I throw it while the dog's holding it. We take them out alive. I have a way of tying it that circulation won't be cut off and we can take it to a pen and untie it. That's the way she goes. After you learn how to throw them, I like to get the right front foot and flip it 
and then sit down beside it with my knees on the hog. Imagine a calf roper that's tying a calf. He's got it rolled over to him on his back just a little bit, and he puts that pig and string on it and wraps it up. And that's where you do the wild hogs. After the bulldog catches, you get a front leg, kind of rock it on its back, and I can hold a 300-pound hog alive by catching that front right foot and roll him on his back. He has to be careful with those tusks. The bottom stick up at the perfect angle to hurt somebody. The ones on top are not sharp, and they're called whetters, like a whetstone. Every time that hog opens and shuts his mouth, the whetters are hitting on the tusk, which we call the cutters. Sows don't have that big teeth. But if you see a hog out there at the door, you can see his teeth sticking out. He would like to put you up a tree if you crowd him up too much. Eddie Trapp of Charleston has written 12 books about his hunting and fishing experiences. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with The Sound of Texas. Time now for the market report brought to you today by Stephen DeMint, financial advisor with Edward Jones, located right here in Muleshoe in his office at 104 West 2nd Street. Call 806-272-4102. Speak with Stephen or Branch Office Administrator Dana Rempe. They can assist you with any of your financial needs, no matter where you live. The market report was recorded this Monday, August the 15th, 2016 at 1130 a.m. This is Dana Rempe of Edward Jones bringing you the Daily Financial Market Report. U.S. stocks open higher as commodity prices strengthen and crude oil prices reach one-month highs. In economic news, U.S. home builders' confidence rose again this month, boosting hopes that construction will rise as well. Manufacturing numbers are down for the second straight month according to the Empire State Manufacturing Index, showing that manufacturing companies are continuing to struggle. In bond market news, U.S. Treasury prices are down due to stock market upswings this morning. So far this morning in the S&P 500, the best performing sector is basic materials, while the worst performing sector is utilities. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 80 points to 18,657. The S&P 500 index is up 9 points to 2,193. And the NASDAQ Composite Index is up 36 to 5,269. This morning, volume on the New York Stock Exchange is moderate with 296 million shares traded. Advancers are outnumbered decliners by roughly a 4 to 1 margin. In commodity markets, the spot price of gold is up $6 to 1342 The spot price of silver is up $0.14 cents to 1985 And crude oil prices are up $1.20 to 4569 in bond markets, the 30-year Treasury yield is currently 2.26%, and the 10-year Treasury yield is 1.54%. In stocks of local interest, Procter & Gamble is up $0.08 cents to 87.13. Berkshire Hathaway is down $0.11 cents to 147.61. Excel Energy is down $0.16 cents to 42.64. Pfizer is up $0.07 cents to 35.05. Walt Disney is up $0.46 cents to 97.30. Apple is up $1.19 to $109.37. Johnson & Johnson is down $0.65 cents to $122.57. Chevron is up $0.68 cents to $102.84. AT&T is down $0.23 cents to $43.05. This is Dana Rempe of Edward Jones, member SIPC, serving individual investors with personalized attention and long-term financial advice at 104 West 2nd Street in Milshu. Daily commentary is also located on our website at edwardjones.com.